I'm hoping I can hear you now. <laughs> All right, good morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You have to speak just a tad bit louder. <laughs> you got it. My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Jane, let's dive into it. Introduce yourself to everybody and let us know where you're coming in from. Hey, guys. My name is Jane Bond. Um, I'm a real estate agent in Naples, Florida, and I'm coming to you actually from Philadelphia. Awesome. Jane, let's dive into it. Thinking Go Rich. When did you get started and what are some of the concepts and principles that you're using today in your business based on Thinking Grow Rich? Well, I read Think and Grow Rich maybe quite, I, I, quite some time ago, actually. And then I tried to catch up once I knew I was going to have this interview. And I can share with you that, you know, I've always was a strong believer in doing what I thought I wanted to do and writing it down and giving it legs and making it come alive and become this breathing, you know, entity. And... Um, I always went by the same principles. You know, you plant that seed and you have the desire to go after it and you go after it with everything you have inside of you. And that's how I became an entrepreneur of many uh, different fields. And all of that has culminated into me being a successful real estate agent because everything I ever wanted to do and everything I ever desired in my heart, I just went after it and I did it. I executed it. And that's, you know, the key to everything, just executing, executing until you reach excellence and breakthrough to success. Awesome. So if you had to pick like two principles that you utilize the most from the book, what would be those two principles? Well, that would be think it first and then plant the seed to grow it and make it work. That's what you do. You think it and then you grow it and nothing nothing comes to fruition unless you plant that seed first so the basis of the book with everyone that has come through you know all the the titans of our country has read this book and put it into action and i think in my life i've done the same thing because i'm a strong believer in the universe and laws of attraction and you know uh, vibrations of meeting people and and building relationships and that's what it's about you know, as it says, think and grow rich. Love it, love it. So let me ask you a question. So would you say the secret in the book that a lot of people are looking for is the secret putting into action or is it just more like thinking? Because I did that for a few years. I thought positively and I didn't do anything and nothing happened. So how much does action have to do with it? Oh, absolutely. That's what the execution is about. You have to take action. If you don't take action on what you really desire in your heart, nothing happens. You know, the thinking part is the, 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 the start of it. You have to think about it. You have to know what you want and put it into action because nothing comes into place unless you act on it. That's the most important part of this. And a lot of people think, oh, you know, it's no different from the laws of attraction, you know, and yet what you ask for is given. But you must put things into action to get those items that you want or whatever your heart desires you know so it's not just about thinking it that's the premise of the book yes to think it that's the start you have to think it and then you have to put your plan into action work your plan and work it hard until you get to where your heart desires and then that's if that's success for you whether it's family you know relationship money material things that's up to you but nothing works without the action that's the plan that's what we call in real estate a plan of action for our sellers. When we go to sit down and present ourselves, we have a plan of action. And before we get to that plan, we have to think it through so we can present it right and articulate it to our customers. And hopefully they buy it. So, I mean, from the start, yes, the start is to think it <laughs> and then put it into action. So, Jay, my next question would be this. Throughout this journey for success and, and being in real estate, I mean, I think it doesn't matter what industry you're in, it'll work the same way. How important is it, in your opinion, to have a mentor or mentorship while you go through the success journey? Should you do it alone or should you get help? Oh, everyone needs help. Even the people that are most successful in their lives. Right? Look at Oprah. She has four coaches. Throughout my life, I've always had a mentor. I've mentored. And even now I have a coach. So it's very important to have someone to support your thoughts, your, your drive, your, your plan of action, and make sure you're doing it. You have to be accountable. And if you don't have accountability, then what do you have? Someone, you have to be accountable to someone. 
So it's that part is important too. Accountability, consistency. I mean, everything you do, you must follow up with it to make it work. And follow up in business is the most important part. And mm -hmm. having a mentor, that mentor keeps you on track. That mentor follows up with you. And that's the support that we mostly need. Somebody has to crack the whip. Because, you know, especially people that are driven, you know, they are adventurous. They're doing, you know, they're multitasking at all times. And sometimes you, you get exhausted with it. So you need someone to say, okay, hey, pull yourself by, up by bootstraps and keep moving because that's the only way this is going to work. You must continue. And that's what's important. So mentoring is extremely important. And, and would you say that you, can't, you, you don't have to have just one? You could have multiple, perhaps in different categories, in different parts of your life. It doesn't have to be just one. And then how do you choose a good mentor? Well, you know, a lot of people think a mentor is different from coaching. A mentor is someone that's going to stay with you throughout your success, throughout your life. A mentor is similar to a manager, a personal manager, someone that's going to support everything that you need to do to get to the level you desire. Um, no, you don't have to have just one. You can have several. I mean, even if you take an actor, for you know, for instance, actor has a coach, an actor has a um, agent, an actor has a personal manager, actor has a business manager. So all of those people keep that person in line and keep them rising to the top. You know, you know what they say: it takes a village. So we all need a support system, and. Um, Unfortunately, everybody doesn't have that. And the people that need that, they have to look for that person. And most of the time, that mentor has been watching you. And that mentor will step to you and say, listen, I see something really good going on here. I like to stick with you and see you through all of this. I agree so, with yes. that 100%. I agree with that 100%. Jane, I want to thank you so much for spending this time with us. Um, and, and hopefully I'm looking forward to do more. We are going to be doing partnership with a few individuals in a real estate realm. And, and I'm beginning a lot of requests to, to put together a, a maybe, a, I want to say, a panel of successful real estate agents or people who have been in the trenches and have done you know, a, a good for themselves and for their clients in real estate business so maybe we can bring them together and do a little sit down and give all the content and all the knowledge back to the brand new agents that are starting in that field so i look forward to do a little bit more interviews with you i will definitely have my team look you know kind of reach out to you see if you can do something with the idea oh fantastic and make sure you tell those young real estate agents you don't break into the luxury market you grow into the luxury market so i would be Love happy it. to Love do that with you I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much for being with us, Jane. Take care. Thank you. And I'm glad we got yeah. together. <laughs> you got it. Same here. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.